Is Blue Wallet custodial or self-custodial? First, we understand why some may feel some discomfort about this topic. After all, this is a software product that controls people's money, and some may even put their life savings in it. Second, we have to define important terms like hosted channels or custodial services, as explained by Anton Kumigorodsky on Bitcoin TV. So when I download Simple Bitcoin Wallet, um, or when any user downloads Simple Bitcoin Wallet, they automatically have a hosted channel yeah, open for 1 million sats to receive so they yes. can instantly receive funds which is a common complaint with lightning is that it takes work to be able to receive funds because you don't have inbound liquidity yeah um, inbound liquidity problem yes so so what's what's the high level explanation of hosted channels and their trade-offs uh okay so um hosted channel is a way to add some trust between peers on a protocol level and uh, I'd say let the rest of the network leverage the trust and uh, technically it's a new kind of channel a hosted channel which does not have chain backing in principle so this is where trust comes from and uh, it gets implanted into lightning node and uh, to the rest of the subsystems in that node it looks just like another channel so it can participate in lightning stuff like multi-part payments and routing and so on and uh but it doesn't it doesn't exist on chain there's no utxo yes, commitment yes of course yes uh, that's the idea <laughs> that's interesting um, so it's it's it is it is custodial by design or is yes. it yes of course it's custodial solution 100 percent. so when you have a hosted channel I'm trusting the provider of the hosted channel for that hosted channel. Uh, yes, you do. And I get the benefit of what's my benefit out of that. My benefit is, I guess, lower lower fees. I don't have to worry about an on-chain transaction. Uh, yeah, you get that. You get inbound liquidity and uh, all the lightning stuff like privacy because uh, routing graph is still on your device, so you can construct routes locally and. Uh, the channel provider has no idea whom you pay into this is one of the differences between other custodians who actually know everything about so that would US. be like the difference between something like wallet of satoshi which is just straight custodial no hosted channels yes yes and this privacy is one yes in a blog post entitled scaling ln with hosted channels anton further defined hosted channels Hosted Channels HC, is an extension to LN protocol which allows two LN nodes to establish a new type of channel between them which is intentionally not backed on chain. One side of such channel is called a host because it's a side where the actual money is stored, the other side is called a client and it's the one which trusts host. Amount of trust can be measured as HC capacity. Wallet Scrutiny first analyzed Blue Wallet about two years ago. Initially, we determined Blue Wallet to be non-custodial. However, on June 27, 2020, a user filed GitLab issue number 117 to note that the lightning aspect of Blue Wallet is custodial. We updated the verdict on July 14, 2020 to reflect this. Here, we see version 5.4.3. This was released on June 23, 2020. Notice that the experience is very seamless. A new user would not know that creating a new lightning wallet will entail connecting to Blue Wallet's hosted channel. There are no warnings in the UI, UX, and no text that a third-party custodian has, in fact, control over the node. In Blue Wallet's GitHub issue number 2364, we first see the agreement of the devs to make changes. They noted that they will make it clear in the app flow. However, they also noted that they won't use the term custodial because they said that it would be incorrect. However, they pointed out that they will use something similar. They further asserted that they used to use the term custodial, but changed to hosted for two reasons. First, the users don't really know what that means. Second, because it is the term regulators are using nowadays. Custodial also means different things in different jurisdictions with different custodial limits. And Bitcoin is also regulated differently in different countries. We don't agree with that since custodial is pretty well defined. Somebody else holds the private keys, therefore somebody else controls the funds. Whether you call it a hosted node or a custodial node, the default settings make it so. 
Nevertheless, and for a while, Blue Wallet cooperated and annotated their Lightning Wallet creation page. Take a look at version 6.0.8. Take note of the annotations added. However, this compromise would disappear in later versions. In version 6.2.3, this annotation has disappeared and is replaced instead with an option to input LND Hub. New users would not be familiar with this and would most likely click on the button to proceed. This thereby onboards unsuspecting new users to a custodial solution without warning and without notice. This would persist until version 6.3.1, which is the latest version. This is, in our opinion, unfortunate. Especially since in the terms and conditions, it is clearly mentioned that, Lightning Wallet, while the Bitcoin wallets are all self-hosted as outlined above, the Blue Wallet Lightning Network wallets are can be used self-hosted or hosted by Blue Wallet services. Which means Blue Wallet services has full access to all the data and info being sent and received by this hosted service. The hosted Lightning Network wallets should be used as an experimental feature for recreational use and software developing focus. Quote. Now, let's compare this with Simple Bitcoin Wallet's latest version 2.4.27. We've noticed the same issues, but they were promptly and proactively fixed. SBW's proactive approach with wallet scrutiny led to it making some changes to the UI. This includes the annotation, custodial solution, plus a question mark symbol linking to more information. Kudos to SBW and Anton for working with us. To date, the updated reviews for SBW has always reflected these positive results. We understand that wallet developers specifically Lightning wallet developers have to deal with the liquidity problem. It is very difficult to onboard new users to a platform that requires setting up a node. But we also believe that developers have a great responsibility in disclosing this fact in clear and a noticeable manner. We are your partners in improving your product. We hope this video would lead to better collaboration to make the space more accountable to its users. We're always open to constructive feedback and would love working with developers to help raise their product to the highest standards. For more information, please visit WalletScrutiny.com, follow us on Twitter, and join the project by contributing to Wallet Reviews. We hope you have a great day!